Hi guys, to start off this rig making tutorial series I'm going to be doing, I thought what, a be what better way to start than with a very simple and prolific rig called the Running Ledger. All you need is a swivel, a lead link, a bead, a hook and some line for your trace. So to start off, I'm just going to use this as my uh, line from my rod tip, say. It's red so you can see it. So what you want to do is coming down from your rod tip and you want to put the lead link on followed by the bead. And it looks like that. And you're going to tie that to the swivel I like to go around about six times. And you go back through the hole. I right, just put a little bit of pressure on it. And then you want to moisten this. Because otherwise if it's dry, it's going to snap pretty easy. It's moistened, pull it tight. There we have it. You want to trim the tag end. Not too close to this because it's not really going to affect anything up here. You then want to get a piece of line. This is 20 pound amnesia. Uh, I've got about 20, 20 inches in length. You use the same, same knot to tie it to the swivel again. So we've got our main line from the rod, that comes down to your link or clip to the bead. The bead's there so it stops the, the clip here with the weight on from rubbing against the knot and eventually fraying it and it'll cause you to snap. So that's why the bead's there. Then it runs to your swivel and then your trace where your hook will be. This is just a size 4 hook. It's what I normally use for bass fishing, which this is a very good rig for bass. Now, rather than hold the hooks, I like to just use a pair of scissors, you hook it through, you can use anything with a hole, and pull it tight. Cool. Now with this tag end, you want to trim it a bit closer to the hook, but leave a gap, or leave a little tag end still, so when the worm pushes over or the bait, it's going to stop it from coming back down the hook so easy. So then all you do, the good thing about using these, is that if your weight isn't holding, or maybe you think it's a bit too heavy, all you've got to do is clip it off. and swap over. 
and there you have it. You've got the running ledger from your main line there. Comes down. And then runs all the way down to your hook at the end. And that is how simple. Thanks for watching guys, um, hopefully next video I'll have a bit of a better setup and I can show you in a bit more detail but this is a makeshift attempt just to get a video up, um, so if you like it then please like and subscribe, thanks.